Welcome back, Nancy Drew. I'm Yara Gibbs, and we're playing the cool Nancy Drew number 10. And uh, we've got some rations to make for the horsies. We fed Bob in the last episode, but we gotta feed more creatures. So let's go over here and get ourselves a fresh bucket of goodies. Now, if we look up here. Uh, wait. We have to make rations for Clyde, and then we're gonna have to make rations for Ace. So three oats, one and a half mixed pellets. All right, so let's do this. I have the bucket back. I have so much inventory, it's crazy. All right, Clyde, what do you want? We have to put in a bunch of oats here. So that's one. Two. And three. We're feeding the horsies. And now we need some mixed pellets, which should be the one right next to it. This one right here. And I think that's it. I think. So this should be for Clyde, so let's see here. Yeah, we, we will totally keep that. And we're gonna go feed Clyde. Once I spin around here, hello dude. I actually still have no idea on the suspects here. Clyde, have a bucket of goodies. Yeah, yummy. Yummy in your tummy, Clyde. Okay, one more dog. No, one more horse to feed. I have no idea why I said dog. So this time it's Ace, and Ace is uh, his is a little complicated. So we gotta get some uh, oats first. One can of oats, and then we need corn, which should be in the middle. Yeah, that looks like corn. And then. We need the... Uh, mixed pellets, which is this one. So... Wait a minute. Am I doing this right? Oh, we'll find out. Okay, and I think that should do it. Let's go! We're gonna feed Ace this time. Let's go this way. Oh, look how close we are when we rotate that way. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Chew on that. Is it delicious? Yeah. Glad you liked it. No, this way, this way, this way. Here's your bucket back. Need something? Can I go riding now? May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. I set up some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and time you. If you get good enough, like say, you get your time below 10 seconds. And if you can lasso the sawhorse, like say, four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You can practice as much as you want whenever you want. Just don't go walking off with my rope, because I'll be watching. <laughs> Okay. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. I will do my best. All right, we need to get our saddle. Bob and I are going out for a little... Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, Nancy. Indeed, indeed. All right, Bobby. Let's go. Come on, pony. We're going for a ride. No, I don't want to go to menu. I want to go to my... Inventory. There we go. We'll put that up there. Snug that up nice. And we're... No! No, no. Why did I take it off, Bob? Alright, let's try again. Snug it up real good. I want to go up here. Come on, Bob. Okay, so what exactly are we doing here? We got some barrels. I guess we're going to be... Uh, okay. So. Yeehaw! Ah, uh, sure. I honestly 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. How did I do? Eleven point five. Start over. Really? Really? Okay. Uh, I'm certainly thinking maybe I'll try this first. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? Do over. Oh no. Just missed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do over. I don't even know what to do here. Oh. Rats, I was this close. So close. Oh, there it goes. Gotcha. You got one out of five. <laughs> We're terrible. We're a terrible cowboy or cowgirl. Come on, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Let's be yes. round. Yeah, we got this. Just gotta be patient. Yes! I'm going for five out of five. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Oh, this is terrible. Missed. Didn't stay for a circle for very long. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Get that broom. Totally get the broom. Run around we go. I feel like we're making a pizza pie. Yes! Four out of five. Congratulations! Yeah, I rock. Okay, that's good enough for that. Now, this barrel thing, I'm not exactly sure. Uh. Okay. Yeehaw! I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? Eleven seconds. Start over. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Ah, uh, go for it. Go for it. Whoa. That's a five-second penalty. You'll never get under ten seconds now. Wow. Why? Yeah, yeah. Is there a skip button for this? Start over. Oh my heavens, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Here we go! Uh, okay. Am I winning? Am I winning? Come on, Nancy, we got this. 10.5, start over. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, Bob, let's go! Come on, Bob. You got this, Bob. We're so slow, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Ten point five. Start over. No, I don't want to. Do I get a lariat? Yep. Here you go. I'm kind of surprised, at you? Why? Figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. You weren't. All right, folks. I had to do that off camera. It took me like. 15 times holy cow anyways i missed a little bit there where it said nancy went hooray i did it but anyways we have it but there's still hope this little vacation of yours ain't over with yet okay may i go riding again yep talk to you later if you last that long i am going to last that long you crazy man we totally got that for winning check and we fed the I'm chickens and the with horses. That. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. Okay. We have a new lariat, and I'm so proud of myself. Let's get out of here for a second. Oh, there's a buddy over there by the chickens now. Who shall we call? I don't know. Let's call someone. Let's go. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? 
Talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. Okay, well that's that, I guess. Uh, what does this guy have to say for himself? Hello, Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. You sure are. Because of that cellar thing, you don't have to be embarrassed. As long as you level with the Raleigh's like you said you would. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. Mm, kind of depends. Uh, that kind of depends on what it is. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever since I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So if you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire, and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Are you going to tell me how to patch it? It's just common sense. You'll manage. Just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done. Because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck of a banquet. And you're going to be in a lot of hot water. <laughs> Great. Now, is there something I can do for you? May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest Cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never see me again, for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, not even when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, has left this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain. Okay. And was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. Know too that I miss you terribly and always, always will. Francis. P.S. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born. Okay. Wow. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Creek. It's a ghost town now. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Could you tell me how to get there? On your way to Mary Yazzie's, look for the trail on your left that heads toward Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? I doubt it. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix the chicken coop. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Ma'am? So, that's good in its own way, I suppose. Well, uh, I guess we should go for a pony ride here. Do I actually have the <laughs> harness? No, I don't. Okay. Wow, Nancy's carrying a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see here. Can't check that off yet. Check. Okay, so we got that done. I haven't done that yet. So we can't do that. Check. Check. Check, 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 one, two, check. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Yeah. I haven't done that, obviously. Can't check that off till it's... Can't check that off yet. All right, let's uh, go for a pony ride. Need the... Harness, of course. Since he made me do all that crazy horse riding stuff. All right, Bob. It's time. Got my canteen. Got my gloves. Let's strap this in real tight so Nancy doesn't fall off. Come on, Bob. Let's go, Bobby. <laughs> time to go for a pony ride. Go. Oh, Dry Creek, that's new. Let's go there. That looks like Mary Yazzie. What's she doing? Okay. 
Okay, so we're getting to Dry Creek, which is a ghost town. Aw, so cool. Alright, Bob, you stay there. No, 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 I don't want to leave. Okay. Probably just a bird. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. General store. Okay. Oh. It's over here. It's an outhouse. Oh, it's a scorpion. Holy cow. Well, that can't be good. Um. <laughs> Shoot. I thought Nancy was going to be quick. I thought she was real quick. Can I put a bucket on top of his head? No. I don't understand. I can't touch it or anything? Alright, fine. I need to get this bucket out of my hands. There we go. Let's see. So we can't get that one. What's over here now? Gallows. JF. Hmm. Let's see now. What about over here? Keep out. Another symbol there. Keep out. Can't seem to go this way either. It's a cemetery. Huh. Check this out. There's a lock here. Why? Why is there... Oh, it's the sheriff's got it locked. Okay. Let's give the sheriff a call. Oh, no signal. No access. Old email only. Alright, fine. Anything else we can do here? Mm, nope. Can't do anything there. There's a sheriff's office here, though. Another symbol there. Hello? There's a jail in here. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Darn. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. Well, that can't be good. Still can't make any e any phone calls. Hmm. Well. Is there anywhere else we can go here? Hmm. Well, another initial there. Not sure what to do here. Well, I think we're done. We're gonna have to go back to town and uh, have the sheriff uh, give us the code, I think. At least that's my thinking. Let's go to Mary's Gifts.